Welcome back guys. We've been doing a series of this pre-infusion only extraction videos on this channel. If you haven't watched those videos that I posted in the last one week, you are missing out. So do watch that. Uh, it's so interesting videos. Uh, it's about how to control or how to do pre-infusion shot alone in, in espresso. And also we also covered the turbo shot in Breville Barista Express. So do watch those and if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. Now today we are going to do another interesting video. Now you might have seen uh, people controlling the pre-infusion flow. Those are inexpensive machine. Can we do that here in this Breville Barista Express? Obviously not. Uh, but we can achieve a bit of that. Okay, I'll explain further. Now, in the pre-infusion mode, this machine will, the water will slowly seep through the puck, which will increase the pressure. Now, that increase in the pressure will be very slow. Now, you may be interested to know how much pressure you will get in the pre-infusion only shot. Good question. That's what we are going to find out today. What is the maximum pressure we can get in the pre-infusion only shot? I'm going to do a test right now and that will show you the maximum pressure in this machine in pre-infusion only shot. So that's the first thing we are going to do and then we will do an extraction after that uh, using uh, the beans obviously and then see how much pressure we will get. The maximum pressure I mean. Now, what is the benefit of doing that? The benefit is this will reduce channeling by big time because that's a main issue with these type of machine, which has very high bar pressure, which is almost 15 bar pressure. Now in those machines, you will see a lot of spurts coming out, a uh, lot of channeling when you, know, you use the bottomless potter filter. That's very common. Now, this can this type of shot that is pre-infusion only where it's well controlled that will greatly reduce the channeling and you will have the, a great extraction if you can get high pressure you will get, you will extract all the flavors out of the beans that's the main thing so that's what we are going to achieve a perfect slow pour of espresso in a controlled manner that means slowly increase the bar pressure from zero all the way up to what we are going to find out what is the maximum pre-infusion pressure that's what we are going to do today so let's dial in now the first thing we are going to do is we are going to test the pressure what is the maximum pressure we will get in a pre-infusion only mode so in order to do that you need this item now this came in your toolkit this is the clean disc that came in your kit now using this you will be able to test the maximum pressure now you could use any size basket single or double size or pressurized or non-pressurized doesn't matter so we're going to use this disc and it's gonna block all the water flow uh, through the potter filter now a note uh, if you are using the first generation Breville Barista Express you will find a hole right in the middle uh, the second generation and all the latest machines won't have that hole that's the first thing to note so if you have the first generation machine I would say wrap this disc with a cling wrap that's all you do and then drop it into one of your potter filter any size now let's go to the machine and to do the pre-infusion only mode you could press either single cup or double cup button and keep pressing and don't leave the button and to stop you just release and press again to stop now that's what we are going to do uh, let's do pre-infusion only mode and watch the pressure gauge we are going to time this because normally your extraction would be 25 to 30 seconds maximum. So that's all we would try uh, because as the water 
collects here it's gonna generate a lot of pressure so it's you will see that the pressure gauge will slowly rise up according to the pressure and that's what we are going to see okay so let's begin ready steady go you shouldn't see any drop of water coming out if it does that means you didn't put the disc properly now watch the pressure gauge going up so we reach six seven eight nine okay 25 seconds so that's the maximum pressure you got around 20 22 seconds that's where uh, it stopped that's when you reach the maximum pressure so just to reconfirm what we just saw in our test um, we have the reading here this is two bar four six bar eight bar ten 12, 14, and somewhere here 15 and 16. So this is the maximum, it, it would go 15 bar pressure. So exactly in 20 seconds, that is the maximum peak time that we saw, and it reached right here. That is between these two lines, that is exactly between eight and 10, that is nine bar pressure. This is the line that it stopped and it took exactly 20 seconds to reach that mark. At least that is a great news for you guys that you can get up to nine bar pressure. That's what we just did, up to nine bar pressure, that too in a very slow and controlled manner. Now, to get nine bar pressure, your grind size should be very fine. That means you have to really restrict the flow of the espresso but it is possible to get up to nine bars pressure. Now, it will be exciting for you to make some shots if you haven't done before. Uh, do make some shots. That is, you have the whole control from zero bar pressure all the way up to nine bar pressure in pre-infusion only mode. So why not try some shots and let me know in the comments below how much maximum pressure you achieved and how was the taste of the espresso. Anything between six and nine bar pressure should taste okay. So don't be shy in trying out some of the shots and let me know in the comments below. Now, I'm going to make a shot and I'm, I'll try to achieve somewhere between six to nine bar pressure. I may not achieve all the way up to nine, but I'll try my best to get somewhere close to nine bar pressure. We'll see in our test how much we'll get. And then we'll taste that shot and see how it is. So let's begin. In this case, I'm going to take 19 grams. Okay, 19 grams. And my grind size is at five. And let's get it grinded. 19 grams in. Now for this test, I'm using the, the Breville basket that came with the machine onto a bottomless powder filter. Okay, let's use this. So all set up ready and we will be targeting 40 grams yield and then we will stop the extraction. I'll have the timer here running and you can watch the pressure and the extraction. So let's begin either button and I'll start the timer at the first drop. Let's begin. Ready, steady, go. So we got six bar, 6.2. The extraction looks good. The flow of the espresso at least. So 
so for, for some reason it's not going above 6 we got 17 18 grams extraction it's already 30 seconds and I think I'll stop now uh, because it's 40 seconds now so okay I forgot to stop the trimmer but 40 seconds we got 25 grams of extraction let's have a look at the the espresso so 25 grams output and look at this a lot of crema a lot of life in this <laughs> so let's taste this before the crema dies okay time to taste this Forty seconds extraction, twenty five grams out. It is pretty good. Now I feel it's more bold, it's very strong. Compared to the other shot that I made, this looks more concentrated and it's thick. Look at the color, even the color looks very dark brown and it brought out all the flavors i can really taste all the flavors of this beans which is really good i'm really impressed with this shot uh, much better than the other shots that i made in the last few days wow this is very drinkable i would give 8.5 out of 10 for this now i don't know whether we will be able to achieve more pressure looks like it is set at six bar pressure now i'm going to do one more test i'm going to make this more finer that means that will be the finest setting we can get from this machine just for the sake of testing and let's see whether we will be able to get more than six bar pressure let's find out we'll look at the puck obviously no signs of channeling perfect extraction Maybe a bit on the side here, but that's not bad. And it came out in one touch. So that's another 19 grams. Okay, not exactly 19. Yeah, that's 19. Let's take it 19. And in this, this time, I'm going to reduce it all the way down to 2. I don't want to go all the way finer. I don't want to damage the burst, so let's use two. Let's see the finest possible grinds. So I just cleaned up everything, the same bravel basket. Good enough let's use this so the finest grind possible in gravel obviously it depends on the beans also some beans grind very fine and some don't so don't be uh, so worried about it so we are at the finest grind possible in this machine and let's begin our extraction and let's see if we can get about six bar pressure. I hope you can see in this angle because I want you to see the extraction plus the pressure. So let's begin and ready, steady, go. Good. Six bar pressure, we got the first drop. Great, almost reaching seven bar pressure. 
11 seconds the flow is a bit choking but that's what we got 7 bar pressure now it's down to 6 point 6.25 6 so 36 gram 37 38 we'll stop at 40 so we stopped at 40 and instead of 25 I think last time we got 25 right yeah I think it's 25 we got 17 this time so obviously because of the fine grind the it was almost choking so we got less extraction this time 17.7 let's have a look at the shot again a lot of crema it looks very concentrated and dark brown so time to taste this i'm hoping that this is bitter because the extraction was nearly choking anyway let's find out it is bitter than the previous one but it's not not that bad it, it is drinkable uh, but you would taste bitterness I would say 15 20 percent more bitter than the previous shot but you can still get the flavors I'm really happy with this type of extraction this is very equal to the normal extraction that you get why don't you guys tell me uh, find out and tell me how the taste difference is because for me this extraction is very close to the normal 18 grams plus the full bar pressure extraction uh, which is at one o'clock which is almost 13 bar pressure uh, it tastes very very similar to this one the previous shot was more flavorful and less bitter the other one okay the crema almost died uh, both are drinkable which i'm glad i can confirm that for sure um, that's the main thing right it, it should be drinkable so nothing wrong in trying this pre-infusion only shot so i hope you enjoyed today's video and at least we learned the maximum pressure for this machine in pre-infusion only mode is nine bar pressure and when you do the extraction you may not achieve that nine bar pressure the maximum i could get is seven bar that's what we just got the last extraction it was a bit on the bitter side because the grinds were so fine and it was nearly choking but if you could get close to nine bar pressure with a more finer grind and less choking then you should be able to get a beautiful extraction which is much tastier than this let me know in the comments below i'll be waiting for your comments so thank you guys for your time and see you guys next time again absolutely no signs of channeling which is expected of this type of extraction so that's the best thing about this pre-infusion only shot you won't have channeling or very less channeling you know what to do next if you are new please subscribe and hit that like button and that will help this channel to grow more and i'll be able to produce more videos like this stay tuned guys see you next time bye for now